round three of the Parenting Roundabout podcast for the week of August 31st. I'm Nicole Erdix, and I'm here with Terry Morrow. Hello. And Catherine Haleko. Hello. We're moms of teens and young adults, and when it comes to parenting, we've been there, done that, bought the t-shirt. But we're still waiting for that day when we'll reach the finish line and have no further need to lay down in a dark room with a wet rag over our eyes worrying about something or other. Wednesday is complaint day here on the Parenting Roundabout, and today we are complaining about videos that take way too long to get to the point or just really don't need to exist at all. And there's a backstory to this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a kind of niche complaint, but I bet a lot of other people are nodding. Yes. So <laughs> the principal at my son's high school, who I do think is a good principal and a, you know, a good person and people like him, kids, parents, teachers seem to like him. But <laughs> he keeps sending links to videos of himself talking. And oh my gosh. can I just please read what you have to say? <laughs> like, I don't need the last one was seven minutes long. Oh, like crazy. Who listens no, to that? No, I don't. And it's start but, a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it really? It's, it's like you know, you get a message from your kid's principal. You want to know what it has to say, especially in these times. Like, uh -huh. what if it said, oh, by the way, we're going to all virtual school? Like, we don't yeah. know <laughs> what it's going <laughs> to yeah. say. So I feel like I have to watch it. And then it turns out to be seven minutes of like, we are all in this together. We need to work as a team. You know, everybody has to be responsible. Everybody has to wear a mask. Everybody, you know, oh like gosh. it's that kind of stuff, which is, yeah. which is great and important. But I did not need it to be in the form of a video. And, <laughs> and it was really more, more directed at students who mm -hmm. I feel are even less inclined than their parents to watch seven minutes of their principal yes. time. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, Our kids all watch things on YouTube that we cannot imagine anybody sitting and watching seven minutes of. So perhaps they would enjoy this too. No, 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 <laughs> no, no because now they're group. watching TikTok and TikToks yeah, are like, that's a right. Minute. <laughs> it so has the principal, to be like, if he wants to do it along with the dance, then people will watch it. Yeah. Yes. It has to be a minute or under you're scrolling through even less because you know, you take like two seconds to look at it and decide if you're going to stay, right? Right, right? I don't know, man. <laughs> Hard to believe as a principal, but maybe not because he's a principal. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's found a new toy and now he's playing with it. Yeah. And, you know, everybody else is already onto something else. But did, is there like a speed up feature on YouTube where you can like fast forward? Like you can't oh, wouldn't that be yeah, there is. Is. Just put them on like, you know, times three. Put them on super speed. Yes, I like that idea. And there's not even any timestamps. Like, did he edit it at all to like, you know, where you can fast forward to, no. you know, a minute 30 for such and such instruction? No. no. Oh, that would be nice. Or you know how yeah. they have that little button that's where you can skip the ad after a few seconds? It's yes. Skip blather and get right to the Skip to point. the point, please. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that seems like such a bad idea. And I bet that's going to spread now. I bet all the principals uh, are going to be going, oh, cool. That would speak to the young people. <laughs> hey, and this is a perfect example of the, and I'm going to say it out loud, but I shouldn't because I'm still in the profession. But sometimes you got to wonder if these administrators. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. You know where I'm going with that. Yeah. Oh, dear. I, I'm so glad that I do not have. Because, I, yes, I would, too, feel the need to watch it all. And then after I had watched it all, I would feel the need to make my child and my husband watch it all. And so that would be two additional battles and then having to watch it two more times. Right? Yeah. And no, don't. Or stress about relaying the information. Exactly. So your kid, you know, can, like, yeah, I mean, I would be stressing about having to have these conversation to summarize what would happen because neither of them would watch it in a million years. They wouldn't watch it if I paid them. Yes, and so I'd have to stress about making sure they got all the information they needed. 
This opens up a great volunteer opportunity. The PTA needs to have a, uh, you know, uh, a person in charge of watching the principal's videos and then posting on the Facebook page as to what, if any, you know, important information was in it. I have to say, Catherine, that's very inaccessible because, like, not a lot of people can, you know, they're not auditory and visual learners. That's true. You need to have it in multi multiple yeah. modalities, right? So they should have a transcript of that somewhere. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, if you really want to. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Does yeah. he have somebody doing sign language as he's talking? Hmm? I bet he doesn't. And then there's no closed caption? No. <gasps> tisk, tisk. Yes, I think that you need to alert the authorities. Uh-huh. <laughs> alert the authorities. <laughs> file, a, file a complaint with the... An uh, ADA complaint? Yeah, yeah. I, I actually know that one of the teachers of the deaf and hard of hearing for the district. Uh-huh. So I should, you know, like, yes. one more thing for you to do. <laughs> yeah. Because she's not completely overwhelmed and overworked. Like, by the way, did you know? <laughs> I think we just slip it into conversation, you know? Yeah. And sometimes the superintendent does the same thing. Oh, yeah. These people are... Uh, okay, I'm going to stop. <laughs> it's just so unnecessary. <laughs> Do they not know about, you know, text messaging or, you know, Twitter or something? Just just boil it down, man. Honestly. Yeah. It's very inaccessible. I mean, they do, they do tend to bombard with like, at least during the year. And it hasn't happened so much in the summer. But like, you know, if something happens, you get an email a phone message and a text message. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, if your yeah. kid was marked absent for one period or, you know, there's a late start or whatever it is, then you get multiple, multiple <laughs> conversations yeah. right. about it. So, yeah. Gone are Nicole, the days were- of using multiple reams of paper to <laughs> yeah. send out newsletters. Sorry, what was that? Well, you were going to say that you have – a, a different complaint about videos. Well, yeah, because when you brought it up, I was like, I wasn't obviously in that frame of mind because my kids aren't in high school anymore. But I was just more or less thinking like, the, you know, we've talked about this before, how I access YouTube videos for um, mm-hmm. instruction, instructional purposes to like, you know, fix a toilet or <laughs> fix <laughs> under the sink. But uh-huh. it just, it just irks me that it has to take them 10 minutes to get to like the three main things that you want to know. Right. So it's just a lot of preamble and maybe I have limited attention. Maybe I, (laughs) I don't appreciate the time and effort that went into it, but like, why, why do are you putting me through, you know, 10 minutes of babble? Just get to the point. Yeah. Well, it is, it's like when you read a recipe online and there's like, oh, um, yes, you, know, you have to scroll and scroll. A thousand words about, yes. <laughs> about the recipe before you get to the recipe. But yeah. that's like an SEO thing. I don't know if there's a reason for that for the videos. Like, are they trying to make them longer? Because if I'm looking for a video and I see that it's, 17 minutes and there's a different, oh. different one on the topic that's only yeah. five minutes. I'm picking yeah. the five minute one. Yeah. <laughs> there's an exactly. advertising thing or I wonder, or they're just their Maybe ego. I don't know. People just don't, aren't aware of that. Like, I mean, okay, your principal really should be. If he's in the business of education, he should really know. <laughs> oh, my experience <laughs> that, of people with experience in the business of education is that te- technical stuff is not there. You know that was a rhetorical question. Or, te- <laughs> <laughs> or comment. <laughs> but, Ugh. yeah, I don't know. I don't think a lot of people really think about, I don't know. Yeah, my problem with videos is that if I want to know about something, I want to read it. I am a writer. I am a word person. Mm -hmm. If I want instructions on doing something, I want to read them. And I mean, I can, if I go on a website, what has it, has it written out in steps, I can scan it very quickly and know if this is what I'm interested in. And I can pick out the part that's interesting to me, or I can then 
then go to two or three other ones and find one that's exactly the angle I want. With a video, oh, I am always so disappointed when I see see the little thing in Google and say, yes, that's exactly what I want. And I go and it's a video. Well, I don't want to sit through right? video. I want to look at words. I want to scan through it. I want to make sure it's what I want and I want to do something. So, I mean, I'm sure there are people for whom videos work best and there might be some things. I mean, if somebody's going to, if I'm going to repair something, yes, it's helpful to see somebody doing it, I guess. Mm -hmm. But also a photograph, a series of photographs would probably do that for me just fine. Maybe it's just because I'm old Grandma Morrow and, you know, the the visual, you know, when I was a kid, we just drew things on the side of the cave. What's all this (laughs) fancy moving pictures business, children? Well, it's the scanning, like... You know, you can't, like we were talking about with the principles video, you can't make mm-hmm. it go any faster than right. it is. Like, I can read fast. So yes, I exactly. Can, <laughs> yeah. I can get to what I need quickly yes. when it's written down. When it's a video, I have no choice but to go at the speed that the video is giving me. Well, now yeah. all our listeners it's are saying like you want to do it on your own terms, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Like you're forcing me to watch this, but do I not get a choice in how I can watch it or right. get that information? Mm-hmm. And now all our listeners are saying, why don't you have transcripts for your podcast? So I can just scan <laughs> over it, pick up the funny piece I like, and not have to listen to y'all prattle for 11 minutes. <laughs> just follow us on Twitter and you'll get the yeah. quotes. <laughs> there you go. Yes, we give you four quotes in every episode. That's all you. That's See, but you listening want. to us is a choice. So <laughs> it's true. not you don't have to listen to us, and it's not like <laughs> we're giving you any to. useful information that you might miss if you put us on. You know, if you fast forward a little bit, or yeah. what, or listen on triple speed, which you can <laughs> for a podcast, but you can't That's for a video. Right, right. The principal definitely needs to to just just make a podcast, man. Put out something mm-hmm. every day. Feel good no, about yourself. TikTok. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. I think all school administrators should have to put things out on TikTok and do a little dance while they're doing it. Mm -hmm. This is how you speak to the kids today. Totally. Got to adapt. Yep. Well, (laughs) we speak to the parents today by podcasting. Mm -hmm. And that'll be it for today's round three. Tune in tomorrow when we will talk about kids' emotional health. That's a turn we're taking here uh (laughs) find all our episodes at parentingroundabout.com and talk back in the comments there you can tell us that we're full of it if you want (laughs) we will listen we'll just skip over it it's fine (laughs) (laughs) um you can talk back in the comments on our website or on our facebook page or on twitter where you'll find us at roundabout chat